there will be eight Tesla Giga Press machines at Giga Berlin. Each one is 100 ton. And in this report, we're going to talk about um, how this uh, tech, the new technology and for production at Giga Berlin is going to look like and what Elon Musk said about it last week. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Last week, Elon Musk was in a very good mood, in a good mood, but immediately able to switch to a sober tone and seriously explain why he is in a hurry with Tesla Giga Berlin, why he has to act in a, such a, a quickly as he does. Elon Musk answered brief questions from uh, fans and journalists and supporters and even opponents in front of the construction site Giga Berlin uh, last Thursday uh, at his Giga factory at Giga Berlin. As in other places before, and as apparently also meeting with politicians, uh, fans and media at Giga Berlin had, had to wait a long time. Even uh, the first day they waited Wednesday, he didn't come. And then Thursday he came for Tesla boss and were not at all sure whether he would come to them, whether he would speak to the media. In Grünheide, Musk then said that it was simply very important to make the transition to sustainable energy as quickly as possible with regard to the emerging Tesla Giga Berlin Gigafactory behind him. He indicated that a radically new core technology would be used there for the production of electric vehicles and Tesla's applications already show in some cases what it will look like in concrete terms. So let's talk let's talk talk about them eight giga press machines casting machines for german tesla factory giga berlin the central role here uh, reports Tesla Mac is likely to be played by huge die casting machines which the italian company um, uh, Idra uh, supplies co uh, supplies to Giga Tesla, and it's called Giga Presses. Smaller versions of these uh, casting machines are already being used in the production of Tesla Model Y in Fremont, and supply two large halves of the rear frame, which in Model Three still consists of around seventy individual parts. One of the new Giga Presses was recently installed in Fremont and in Tesla's second new Giga, Giga factory building in China and for Tesla's German Giga factory in Grünheide Brandenburg eight of these 100 ton machines are planned can you imagine how big giga berlin is going to be and if we can imagine that the tesla giga texas about which i have new report coming is going to be bigger than giga berlin can you imagine how fast is tesla growing based on these things so there are eight die casting machines with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 td I don't know what TD is, per machine, says one of the thousands of pages of Tesla applications for the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin, which were officially laid out on the internet and documented by a Twitter user, uh, one of our friends. Otherwise, the process for die casting from heated aluminum is explained in abstract. At another point, you can see that each of the Giga presses is to have a melting and holding furnace as well as a cooling tank as peripherals. Your product is there for large aluminum elements that have already been deburred at other stations provided with holes and checked using an x-ray device. According to the information on the Tesla factories in Fremont and China, Giga Shanghai, each of the new Giga presses is large enough to literally deliver the flat rear section for the Model Y from a single cast, which previously consisted of two halves. In the German applications, four of them are closer together in a drawing when the auxiliary systems in groups. All eight machines together make up almost two thirds of the entire casting area in the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin. So these are Tesla's huge machines. Already, the reduction 
to two rare parts for the first Model Y from Fremont, described Tesla uh, CEO Musk in April as a revolution in production. In July, he said on Twitter that the Model Y from the German Gigafactory would actually finally bring about a revolution in the production of car bodies. His current statements before the construction site sounded similar. The Tesla CEO spoke of a radical change in the core technology for the construction of cars and a transformation in the core of the design of the vehicle structures. All of this fits in with a patent from Tesla that became known in June 2019. It described a system in which, for example, four casting machines together form the mold for at least one part of a vehicle frame and maybe even eject in one piece, explains Tesla Mag, a German uh, Tesla news website. Automotive president Jerome Guyen announced in the same month that Tesla wanted to build a huge, huge, huge machine. When the first Giga presses were reported that year, many thought he meant them. But only one of them is apparently not enough for Tesla German Giga factory and Giga, uh, uh, and Giga machine. It has to have eight or two times four casting machines. This is very big. And we learned about this from the documents Tesla actually released in July uh, 2nd. Um, observers of the Giga, um, Giga Berlin will are able to see some new materials um, that they were posted online uh, from July uh, 2nd. Um, extensive documents for the project were uh, laid out for a month and made available on the internet. Um, and uh, this was announced by the Brandenburg Ministry of Environment. Uh, Tesla had agreed to the publication on the internet of these this, uh, documents uh, uh, and to facilitate access to these documents. Together with the company, it was has also decided to publish information on Gigafactory plans well beyond the legal obligation that Tesla had. In the meantime, if you look in the recent updates from our friends, that you are seeing uh, our friend Silas, uh, who tweets at Tesla uh, Kid Grünheide, uh, at this stage of construction, solid activity has become evident in the area of the casting building. Um, that's where the casting eight casting machines are going to be housing. And as you can see, this is a huge building. Yeah, you can see that the installation of the footings continues still and the reinforced frame is filled with cement which is produced directly at the Giga Berlin site. Well speaking of this you know there has been an interesting event this morning. This morning um, Volkswagen's uh, chairman Herbert Diess released the video of uh, Tesla CEO Elon Musk test driving the ID3 Volkswagen's electric uh, vehicle ID3 with him in Braunschweig airport looks like they're driving it on the runway at least that's how it looks like I, I cannot say maybe it's a local uh, airport and then um he thanked Elon Musk for stopping by at Volkswagen's uh, in Braunschweig uh, before uh, heading to the United States from last week after leaving Giga Berlin. And also he cl clarified that, made an update saying in a comment that no deal or cooperation was uh, uh, discussed. This was just a test drive. Um, well, let me know, friends, what you think about these eight huge uh, machines. Uh, we're going to really witness a revolutionary way of making uh, cars at Tesla Giga Berlin and uh, please subscribe to Torque News because we're going to bring you the latest any up news update that we have when these casting machines arrive. We have basically Giga Berlin stories daily thanks to our local friends who provide information, tweets and so on. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you. Spend good time with your children. Peace be with all of you and I'll see you soon later today with another report. See you soon, friends.